welcome to this week's Coach's Corner. Coach Derek Schooley joining me. Uh, part of coming off of this bye week uh, gives you a little bit of time to hit the road recruiting. Uh, also the same time as the early signing period. A uh, couple of guys inked their letters. Uh, first one, let's talk about Matthew Graham. He'll be joining the team next year, a forward. Tell me a little bit about him. Well, I think one of the things that uh, you do during off weeks is you get, it gets you a chance to get on the road. I was out on the road. Mark and uh, Cody were also out on the road, so it was a chance to see a uh, a lot of our guys and see some of our commits play and, and play uh, and see some other kids and you know also during the National Letter of Intent time we got a chance to sign some quality individuals that we think will help the Colonials and as you mentioned uh, Matthew Graham there he's a, a scoring uh, threat he plays in Langley in the British Columbia Hockey League he's uh, uh, competes really hard a really good kid um, and he has a high ho hockey IQ which is something that uh, yeah, you want to make sure you have as far as uh, knowing where to go in the systems. And he knows to get, get around the rink. He's played a lot of junior hockey, and uh, we're excited to have uh, Matthew on our team. Uh, he's coming, as you mentioned, from the BCHL. A couple of guys on this current team from that league as well, uh, you know, Kyle Horseman being one of them, Chase Golightly. Uh, what do you guys get to see? And I mean, that's quite a trek out there to the <laughs> to the BC. But what do you see out of that league that uh, has been attractive with these players? Well, we've had a lot of kids that have come through our program from BC. Starting Brock Meadows was uh, a very early one. Scott Jacklin, Jeff Jones, very offensive league, and it's a league that uh, really prepares the players for college hockey. And it's it's known as one of the, the top three or four leagues in in uh, all of uh, North America. And, um, really uh, get some good hockey players out of there and it's hard to get out there it's so far away but we get out there we've been out there twice already and and uh, we've got uh, a good list of guys that uh, come from that league and the guys that have been here have had a lot of success another player that's a year further out from joining the Colonials but was able to sign his letter of intent as well Jeff Lawson uh, plays with the Ottawa Junior Senators uh, he's played a lot of years for just being 18 years old right now yeah he's uh, he's gonna be a kid that we bring in in a couple of years solid stay-at-home defenseman kind of got it Evan Moore type player, um, good in his own end, moves extremely well. He's a track athlete. He's done very well in uh, Canada and some of the national championships. So he's an athlete. And, uh, you know, he, like I said, he moves extremely well. He defends down low. Another really good kid, competes extremely hard, and really will bring kind of a work ethic based game to, to Robert Morris. And um, he's expanding his offense a little bit too. And uh, he's playing in the Eastern Canada Challenge right now as we speak. And, um, has done a very good job this year for a very good hockey team in the Ottawa Junior Senators, which is coached by Chris Kushnerik, and uh, uh, that's where uh, Ben Roblard came from. So we're excited about uh, uh, Jeff joining our program as well. Another you know, kid that's coming out of that league, uh, a goalie commit for you guys that n now plays with Nepean, same team that Brandon Watt spent a lot of time on. Uh, tell me just a little bit about uh, Frank Marat. Well, Francis is a, a, a big goalie. He's six one, but he takes up a lot of space in net. And Cody Van Renter, Jim, who's done a tremendous job with our, our goalies, and um, you know, was, had a, a hand in Dalton picking Dalton Isaac via video when he was our hockey ops guy, and uh, you know, got a chance to to see Frankie out play uh, a couple times over the past few weeks, and really likes what he brings to the table. He's solid. He's positional. Um, he takes up a lot of net. Um, also a uh, very good kid. Uh, not only did he play with Brandon Watt, he, he built it at Brandon Watt's house. So it's, uh, it was an easy uh, uh, combination and uh, he had a lot of information about Robert Morris. And, and once again, with uh, graduating both uh, Terry and Dalton the following year, um, we feel bringing uh, Francis in will be a, a very good addition to our program, especially uh, returning Dalton and Andrew Pickle, who and gives us three very good goaltenders again. Uh, now, you come off the bye week, you guys hit the road this weekend to, to take on Army. What do you guys kind of need to do? Got some fresh bodies now. What needs to happen this weekend? Well, Army's, uh, we've had some really good battles with Army. Um, I think we've never uh, uh, got four points out there. Um, they've always been uh, hard fought, high compete level games. Uh, Army took us to three games the one year and we're up one nothing halfway through the game at uh, the year that we went to the NCAA tournament in an elimination game. And uh, they've got very good goaltending. Uh, they've got a young hockey team that uh, Tyler Pham was rookie of the year in the league last year. Brian Riley has them playing very hard. And it's going to be a high compete level series. And uh, um, if you've if you, you got to make sure you bring your compete level. And like you said, we're healthy for the first time all year. We've got everybody, the, all hands on deck, uh, ready to go. And it'll be interesting to see how uh, our guys respond to the big challenge that we have out at West Point. Uh, you mentioned having everybody healthy. Ben Robillard 
Are we going to see him this weekend? Is he going to find his way into the lineup or still working on that? Well, Ben's uh, been cleared to uh, resume contact, and we're excited to see Ben back in the lineup. It's been almost a year since uh, he hasn't been healthy for a while, and to have uh, uh, his, uh, hip surgery and a hernia surgery all in the last year is, is a tremendous, uh, uh, shows a tremendous amount of character to continue to come back from that. And uh, Ben's practiced very well. Um, now we got to see him a little bit in contact and see how he'll handle things in traffic. And, because he hasn't been able to be hit. Now uh, we're going to be able to see that. So we're excited to see how Ben progresses as, as far as contact goes. And, and uh, as always, we'll make the lineup decisions as the uh, week goes on here in practice. And we've got a very deep forward group. We've got a very deep defense group. And they make uh, challenging decisions for the coaching staff. And that's the way you want it. You don't want it to be easy. And um, Ben adds to that uh, group. But uh, like I said, it's, it's a challenge. And um, challenge to make sure that once you get in, if you're have an establisher stuff that you stay in and we'll, we'll see how everybody uh, moves forward as the week goes on. Coach, sounds great. Uh, best of luck this weekend at Army. Thank you.